Hey everyone, this is Shane from iPadDaily.com. One of the things that I get asked quite frequently is, how do I copy a DVD movie that I own to my iPad? So today, I am going to show you how to do that in just about four easy steps. Now, um, one thing I do want to say, a little disclaimer note, um, according to the DVD manufacturers, Technically, you are not supposed to be doing this with your movies. So, I will just say, proceed at all your own risk. Um, now, with the DVD movie, basically there's going to be a few steps to do this. One, we're going to use some software to prepare the movie. Two, we're going to copy the movie into iTunes. And three, we're going to sync with the iPad and you will have your DVD movie on the iPad. The first thing you're gonna need to do this um, is some software. And I use a specific one, which I will pull up here in the browser, called Handbrake. Now, I have been using Handbrake for several years um, since the Apple TV first came out. Uh, when the Apple TV came out, I I purchased movies from iTunes, but also I had a huge stack of DVDs and I really wanted to get those onto the Apple TV. So I began using Handbrake and it works very well. Uh, so this is the web page and it's handbrake.fr is the web address. And when you get here, you're going to want to click on download. And you'll see that comes up here is its little download screen very easy to read. Um, you'll also note it does support Windows. It also supports Mac. Now I am a Mac user and so I will not be showing you the Windows version. However, I've been told it's not that much different. Um, one thing to note here, you get some choices and one of the things with Handbrake, it requires a little piece of software which it will tell you to download when you run it uh, that only runs on this 32-bit version. So make sure that you pick the 32-bit Intel version of Handbrake. Now I've already downloaded it so I will spare you the download details. Once it downloads, you install it the way you install any other Mac application, drag and drop it into your applications folder, and you can go in there and here you see a little pineapple and a margarita glass. Now I put this here on my dock and I will open it up. I'm not quite sure why they chose a pineapple and margarita glass. My only guess is they assume you're having so much fun with Handbrake. Uh, so, Basically, let me uh, close all this that opened. This is what you'll get. You just get a simple kind of screen here. And you could probably get pretty overwhelmed with all of the windows, all of your menu items, all of the options. However, I'm going to show you how to do it really easy and you don't even have to worry about any of these options. So, to begin, what you're going to want to do is, first of all, make sure you have a movie in. And I have a DVD in uh, right here on Austin Powers' movie. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is click Source. So when you click that, this little box pops up. Now, you'll want to navigate here to your DVD, and then you're going to get these two little folders. Now, all you have to worry about is video, and you click the folder. Also, you do not have to worry about any of these files. All you have to do is click Open. Now when you click Open, what Handbrake is going to do is it's going to scan the DVD. And it usually just takes a few seconds. As you can see here, the little blue uh, status bar is going pretty quickly. So now for a really big multi, you know, four hour movie, it'll probably take a little bit longer. Now, at this point, you're, you're almost ready to go. One thing I want to mention is this right here. You can see right here that it says one hour and 29 minutes 
and that is the length of the movie. On, there's a very few movies where this will say something like two minutes, and that is not the right length of the movie, obviously. So you will click this down, and the general rule is to pick the longest one, which is usually the length of the movie. Most of the time, you do not have to worry about this. It just picks the one you need. So, once you've got that scanned and it comes up here, the next thing you're going to want to do is come over here to Presets. Now this is really nice because Handbrake has already picked the settings that you need to make this as simple as possible. Basically, you can see these little items over here and you can see how I'm expanding them. And the one you're going to want to go to is Apple and you're going to want to highlight universal. And that is all you need to pick and it does all the settings for you which are pretty much the standard settings for just about anything you'll want to do. You can definitely explore all of these items as you wish but for the purposes of this and to make it fast and easy just go ahead and pick universal. It does work. Now at this point you're ready to go. All you do is click start. And I'm going to click start. Now, for a movie that is about an hour and 29 minutes, it is going to take a little over an hour depending on what computer you have, what hardware you have, and many different factors. But I will say that it is definitely not going to take five or ten minutes. So, a lot of the times what you can do is you can pop a DVD in, do the methods I've shown you, click start, and then just walk away and come back later. Um, Handbrake will let you know when it's done. It'll pop up a little window. Um, now, as you can see over here, it's already put a file. Now that is just a partial file that it's making. It's not done yet. So what I'm going to show you, since um, you probably don't want to sit here for over an hour and uh, just chat, I actually dragged over a movie that is done, and I'm going to show you how to get it right onto the iPad. So let's go ahead and stop this, just because I don't want to uh, have it slow things down. And let's assume that everything's all done. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here to iTunes and you're going to want to make sure that your iPad is plugged in and you can see I have mine right here, little iPad icon. And you're also going to want to make sure you're up here in your movies section. Go ahead and just drag your movie over here and drop it in there. And iTunes will show the movie right here. Then you're going to want to come down here to your iPad setting. Come over to your Movies tab and make sure that it says Sync Movies. And I think by default it's not checked, or actually it might be. Regardless, make sure you check that it says Sync Movies. Then you're going to want to click Sync. And when you click Sync, what it will do is it will go through the normal syncing process and it will copy the movie over. At that point, yeah, see, you can see right here it's copying the movie. And actually, it doesn't take that long. Then, you can go on your iPad, click on the Little Videos app, and there you go. The DVD movie has been now been copied right over to your iPad. At this point, you can repeat this process as many times as you have DVD movies. I did a whole bunch over a weekend. It was raining and a perfect time to do it. So... I'm Shane from iPadDaily.com, and this is how to copy a DVD movie to your iPad.